this is Linda with Talent TV Productions. I'm here at the Asian on Film Festival, and I'm here with... John Wynn. Hi. What do you do here? Uh, I'm the court jester. Basically come out, throw a couple jokes around, some water balloons. Uh, hey, how you guys doing over there? You look good. You look really nice over there. Just letting you know. So that's pretty much what I do here. A uh, small <laughs> film in the festival this year called Escape. Uh, we're very thankful to Asians on Film and to Scott. Uh, we're nominated for uh, Best Sci-Fi Horror, so oh. we're really, really thankful for that. Well, tell us a little bit about it, briefly. Uh, basically, it is a film about a woman who is trying to rescue a small child in peril, and she finds herself caught in trouble. So, uh, are you the writer or director? What's your role in it? Again, I did craft services on this film. <laughs> it's really difficult walking around with trays of food, uh, drinks. Are you guys thirsty? Uh, I uh, the court, gesture, I court gesture on this film as well. I'm the uh, writer, director, uh, and uh, producer, editor on this film. Oh, wow, you did it all. Yeah, we were broke, so we didn't have a choice. You kind of throw that one person into it, and you kind of run with it. So, of all the four things that you were, your role, what's your uh, least favorite? Least favorite? Car parking. <laughs> That's a really difficult job. Those trucks are really big. Uh, least favorite role, I think, is probably, um, you know, the writing. I love to write, but writing is never done. You always are rewriting and rewriting, and then you rewrite in the edit as well. And so I think for myself, that's always the uh, the hardest part, because even after it's done, I'm like, oh, I should have rewritten this part. And then, you know, you're always second guessing it. But uh, outside of that, I mean, it is a pleasure because you get to create what you write. So so having all these uh, hats in, in your project, what kind of expert advice do you have to give for people who, who have a very uh, low budget? The biggest, oh, okay, well, you got me there. The biggest advice I was going to say is find someone with a crap load of money <laughs> and really become good friends with them. Hey, anyone out there who's just a fund, a film fund, maybe you got a rich uncle. Maybe you have a rich dad. I'm right here. You can find me. Just go AOF. You can find me on there. And I'm down to have a discussion about finance. That is actually my biggest expert advice is find someone with financing because that's uh, 99 percent of your uh, your issues on set is always financing. If you have a low budget and you don't have that um, ability, I think the, the next thing I would say is surround yourself with really great people, really great friends, people that can support you in all aspects of it. Because it's not only just prep and just production and then post, it's after the fact too. You still have to support this film and you still have to still go out and do things for it and you need a lot of help to do that. So the more people you can have involved from the ground you know, up, that will just help you all the way through. Um, in terms of film festivals, did you submit it to other film festivals other than Asian on Films? Um, we did Asian on Film, and uh, we did Holly Shorts, uh, we did Slam Dance as well, and um, I think there's a few other that I'm dropping right now. My producers have been really fantastic with a lot of the, uh, the festival run. I've, I've been a little bit of a bad director because I've been off on other projects and uh, bad, so I'm, I'm trying to keep up, but uh, we've been doing okay, so I'm very, cool. very thankful. Well What's your next project then? Uh, right now, there is a project that I'm hoping to hear about next week that if it goes would be um, a big deal. I don't, I don't even know how, I can't really say it. Yeah, it's a big deal. You're I'm, a big deal. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I mean, oh, I'm just saying a we're a big deal. So does that mean big soon deal. you'll have uh, some, some cash dollars to find for my film? Yeah. You learn quick. You learn really, really fast. Sounds good. I, 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 mm, I need well an done. editor too. Can you edit some films? Wow, Davis, that? how's it going over there, man? Is it a time for your interview? Wow! Just, just. I just want people here. Just pick things up <laughs> quick. Um, uh, no, a lot of things are happening. Hopefully, uh, in the next few weeks here, uh, some announcements will get made. But if they don't, um, you know, we'll keep doing what we do, which is, you know, just kind of keep running the race. Yeah, you could buy one of those, like those, those court gesture outfits, Hollywood. You would be totally. It. I was gonna bring it today, but uh, <laughs> you can make some money. Scott would let me wear the hat. He thought it might be a little distracting. So. Well, thank you for joining thank us you very much here, and uh, good luck with your film. Thank I you. look forward to seeing it. Appreciate I love sci-fi and horror. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks.